Hana Uzaki. The secondary main character that contributed to the cause of my hatred towards Uzaki-chan wants to hang out. That's right, Hana Uzaki. <laughs> Hi! You see, I am what they call a fiend. Well, a fiend when it comes to watching romance anime. I am a complete sucker for them. And when it comes to Uzaki-chan that is considered to be a romance anime, well, on paper at least, you see, it's listed as such, but today, I'm here to tell you just how far from the truth that actually is. You see, to me, Uzaki-chan truly ruined my life. So good! It lied to me and wasted my time. To understand why, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Uzaki, or Uzaki-chan, the cute big-breasted underclassman of our scary-looking main character known as Shinichi Sakurai. And yes, that name is similar to the main character from Parasite. The backbone of Uzaki-chan wants to hang out as well, just that. Uzaki wants to hang out every single day. Now, this only works for a few reasons. The first is that our main character has no friends, but two people we'll talk about later on. He struggles with making any friends because, well, he's quite scary-looking. And he can be what you would call a loner. His personality is also quite cold and quiet. On the other hand, Ozaki is the complete opposite. Having all the energy in the world, being outgoing, and having, well, big breasts. The perfect formula for a squish pillow. I mean, best friend. Anyways, long, long ago, Sakurai, the main character, and Ozaki were high school, let's just call it friends. They were in the same swimming club, Sakurai being her senpai or upperclassman. And Uzaki, with her first time meeting him, was intimidated by his freakish appearance, which everybody is. However, as time passed, she quickly learned that Sakurai isn't scary and is actually an amazing person overall. Uzaki at the time was pretty quiet herself, and not who she is today. She was also really bad at swimming, so you can guess where the story goes. Why do I have to be such a crappy swimmer? But Sakurai, on the other hand, was amazing, considered to be the best which his character overall likes to work out a lot. Now, over time, Sakurai gave Uzaki lessons and they eventually became friends. Now, don't forget, they were in high school, their last years of high school to be exact. So eventually, Sakurai graduated, and as the learner he always has been, he didn't really keep in touch with Uzaki-chan. Which actually brings us close to the present. They are now in college, you know, Sakurai being the upperclassman, when Uzaki just so happens to see her former loner upperclassman one day. Hey sir, this employee is insulting me! You wanna give him a pay cut, for real! The only difference is, compared to her quiet past self, she is quite energetic and wants to help our main character come out of his shell. Now this is where the downward spiral of what I call my life begins. For me as a viewer, Uzaki-chan wants to hang out is nothing but boobs, and more boobs, and more. And funny little horny moments between these two characters that will probably never get together, or so I thought. And hell, they are in college, so I will definitely stare while Uzaki gets stuck in a bush. Uh, what the? Huh? What are you? I'm kinda stuck in some shrubbery. And Sakurai has to pull her out. Now these funny moments are essential for any real etchy anime, and at first this anime was only that. Now, over time, the story starts to get a little more interesting. This is because we slowly start to learn more about our two main characters, and some very fascinating side characters are introduced. The first would be the owner of the cafe, who believes Ozaki is an elementary school student, until he is persuaded to think otherwise. In the cafe business, I thought I developed an astute eye. What is this madness? Ah! Now, the cafe owner quickly discovers just how close Uzaki and Sakurai are as they argue like a married couple and finds joy in observing them. The next character is Sakurai's close friend who we don't really see very much until later on but he is at least one of his friends. The third character, side character, is the cafe owner's daughter who seems to get off on watching Uzaki and Sakurai's relationship grow, or maybe she just likes to watch Sakurai, period. Uh, I'm not too sure. Now overall, the side characters seem to basically speak the minds of the audience, as they observe Uzaki and Sakurai's relationship and want them to make it official. Now, the cafe owner and his daughter are more involved in the beginning episodes, and the cafe owner generally wants them to only watch the two as they grow and not interfere. 
even though that's just about every single person in the entire anime can see they like each other thankfully however sakurai's best friend seems to want to do more of the hands-on approach in a relationship as he throws obvious hints and pointers for both of them most of the time episode 6 season 1 in this episode we see that sakurai's best friend had the entire gang go out to some faraway beach house and his main goal was for them to take the next step forward together where something exactly like that actually happens finally uzaki and sakurai learn more about each other and find themselves in a situation that only actual couples would end up in hang on hold the phone you better not be laying there secretly wide awake you jerk hence the whole sakurai being asleep and uzaki being trapped by his arms so she sleeps with him which is just really interesting now at first glance this is just another etchy cute scene from a basic little anime whatever until you start to realize Uzaki is starting to become aware of her teasing and trying to be nicer to Sakurai and allows what he does to her interesting to me at least the episodes that follow after this talking about episode 7 has Uzaki learned that Sakurai gets pretty drunk easily from his best friend and she tries to get him drunk fails can't get home herself as she is drunk and has to sleep over his house which actually strengthens their bond and hope for the audience that maybe they actually might get together. Now, episode 8 begins, and Uzaki is completely hungover from drinking so much. She also shows Sakurai a side of her, a vulnerable side of herself, and is completely self-conscious of it afterwards. Sakurai, being the nice guy that he is, helps her out, and she feels deeply indebted to him and puts a halt to her usual annoying self. She even becomes quiet, of all things, just like she used to be in high school. Most of this entire episode is development for Sakurai as he finally starts to realize that this entire time Uzaki isn't necessarily a bother and he actually likes her company or maybe even likes her actually. Here is we were once again shown that the characters in the anime are very much aware of the potential relationship they have. What is this feeling? I'm sensing something important's about to happen without me. Crap! I shouldn't have come on my own! Sir, please! that the characters in the anime are very much aware of the potential relationship they have. Interesting. She must have gotten it into her head that whatever she did was an unforgivable thing. Now of course, with a little compliments, Uzaki comes back to her usual self, and in reality she felt sad so Sakurai helped her. Like a boy. Oh wait, they aren't actually dating. Right, I forgot. It's just interesting that the entire episode was really just the two of them to start realize what their relationship actually is. From episode 8 to 12, nothing really happens or changes for the couple to be. Well, except for one thing. Uzaki gets Sakurai completely drunk. And even though he can low-key handle his bear for the most part, or at least that's what Uzaki was told by his best friend, he says something. Then, of course, Sakurai's best friend walks in and basically puts them in the same bed as they sleep together. They forget about everything that happens afterwards, because, you know, hangover and everything, until the anime shows us that actually only Sakurai forgot what happened. Uzaki actually remembers what happened that night and what Sakurai said. And then the anime ends. Boom. 2020 over. No real advancements. I'm sad. Now, 2022 comes along, and we get a second season. There's hope. We have hope. Now, the entire second season seems to be off Uzaki's family. Her big rest of mom, who everybody was talking about on Instagram, and how her mom thinks that Sakurai wants to bang her for some reason, and Uzaki telling her entire family that she basically has a boyfriend, but never actually admitting it's official. Now most of the entire anime they tease the fact that only Uzaki's little sister and mom have actually met Sakurai and know that he is actually the person that Sak Uzaki's always talking about. Until one day Sakurai starts to work out and it just so happens that the owner of the gym is Uzaki's dad. And her dad quickly starts to like Sakurai as you know he's a pretty earnest and hardworking guy. And he even gives some pointers for girl problems not knowing that he's actually talking about Uzaki the entire time. And at this point at the gym or whatever me and her dad Sakurai is actually starting to realize after talking to people like her dad that he might actually like her now Uzaki's dad never actually realizes that Sakurai is the guy that Uzaki has been talking about for like 10 episodes until the literal last two episodes 
where Sakurai comes to meet Uzaki's family, and we are finally rewarded after being tortured with the fact that Uzaki's mom still thinks Sakurai wants her, her dad doesn't actually know that Sakurai is the guy, and they still are not officially together and we're on the last two episodes. Now when Sakurai's dad reacts like any overprotective father would, when he finally meets um, Sakurai and knows that he is the person that Uzaki has been talking about this entire time. Now the, the two of them, the father and, and Sakurai, they come up with a plan to get him really, really, really drunk so that he has to go home and you know leave everything because he, he, does, he doesn't want him there or messing up his daughter and all that stuff. So they get drunk, he leaves, whatever. Uzaki and her dad take him home. And while upstairs, Sakurai finally gets close to opening up about his feelings. Well, kinda. As he stands over Uzaki drunk as hell and spilling his guts about to lean in for a kiss. And then falls asleep. Now on time skip, in Uzaki and Sakurai share a sunset scene. As all of the side characters tell Sakurai, it's time to make it official, you have to. And that's his plan during this beautiful moment before the anime ends. He starts the conversation and then bells. Here's the thing. Yeah? What's up? I... I really... <laughs> he basically says, I'm not ready yet, and let's hang out more. And then the anime ends. After they teased me for 25 episodes. For two, almost three years, I've watched this anime. And you telling me they haven't even kissed. You telling me they've got drunk together. They've literally laid in the same bed. They've cuddled in public. Everybody thinks they're dating and they still won't officially make it a thing. I don't know why. When I watch romance animes, and I watch a lot, somebody either gets hurt in the ending, they have a happy ending, they have a bad ending, something. Somebody gets together, somebody doesn't, whatever. Somebody cries, maybe they don't, whatever the case may be. Why is the fact that this anime teased me for so long? It made it well aware that they were potential for them to get together, kiss, say they were a couple. At least the last 10 seconds could have been that and I would have been satisfied. But no, no, they make it aware and then they go the complete opposite direction. They just, they keep getting close to the finish line. Just, just a little inch here, inch there. And then they just stop completely. Like, wh why would the anime do that to me? I, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> 